Hi. <laughs> what would happen if I just recorded everything for a week? set up from a photo shoot, so I don't have to do anything extra, that's cool. Prior to this week, I had already filmed the talking head segment of the bath magic video, so here I'm just setting up and doing some pretty b-roll of the soaps and the salts that I mentioned, as well as just to have something pretty to overlay while I'm talking, so that it's a little more visually interesting and not just my talking head. And once I finish editing it all together, I watch it a few more times all the way through so that I can get the correct timestamps, anything that I need to link in the description, or any cards to any videos that I might mention. It looks really nice out, so I'm just gonna sit out on the porch and fly my drone. I just finished flying Edgar, my drone, and um, I totally forgot that I have to be on this panel tonight. So I'm steaming some pork buns and I'm going to eat and then try to make myself look presentable in the next 30 minutes and then hop on. Here's how most of my mornings go. I usually wake up and go straight to my reading nook. I light this candle that I light every single morning and Loki likes to join me and insists on being in my lap at all times. Once Loki has finally settled himself, I'll usually just cleanse the space and meditate for anywhere between 5 to 30 minutes or just whatever I feel like I can do that day. Then I spend the rest of my time reading, and usually this is reading for future book reviews. Once I've come to a good stopping point in my reading, I usually just do a few tarot card pulls just for the day, and then I spend a little bit of time journaling. Not without Loki's company, of course. Now that I took some time for myself already, I just pick one of my favorite podcasts to listen to as I get ready and set up for work for the day. Hi, I'm Wendy Zuckerman from Fine Fest, and today we wanted to share something really special with you. It's a new Gimlet show that is all about how to deal with a massive, massive problem, Australia's monopoly on Wombat. Hi, 
I spent most of Tuesday just catching up on all of my witchy and spiritual things. I'm in the second Hecate course for Jason Miller, so I just did a little bit of my homework and studying for that, and here you'll see me just rearranging some flowers that I got for my ancestor altar. Otherwise, it was mostly just spiritual upkeep, cleansing, warding, things like that. So it's Tuesday, and I need to choreograph something for tonight's class. And time got away from me, and it's already like 6 o'clock, so I need to choreograph something within the hour before I have to leave. And on top of that, I'm also going to be filming at the studio tonight because I'm going to be doing the poll Q&A that I did on my Instagram. So, gotta get choreographing. So this is what my setup looks like when I'm practicing a choreo, and then I can record it with my phone and record myself so that I can actually remember what I choreoed. <laughs> I am on my way to the studio and we're gonna teach some pole classes. This week's song is I Wanna Be Yours by the Arctic Monkeys, except I'm doing the slowed version. I find that the slow versions are easier for beginners to keep up with and they just, they usually sound sexier too. So yeah, I like the slowed versions of songs. We'll use my tiny little camera. <laughs> Say hi, do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, my name's Lexi. <laughs> I'm Zet. I'm Zet. I'm Mary. Savannah. Hi. They all made it to my pole class and surprised me, so that was a lot of fun. fun. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. You guys already all know each other then? Or no, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, so we're just bringing it all together. Yeah. That's super cool. Okay, that was crazy. I'm in the pole studio and everybody's gone now. So I'm gonna be filming the poll Q&A here. Um, but yeah, I met like a bunch of people who are some of my audience and that was just like really cool. It's really weird to meet audience, like in a, in a good way. It's just like surreal. Um, yeah, they were all really sweet. And tomorrow we're gonna go to a witchy shop together um, just because two of the women are visiting from out of town just to take my class. <laughs> That's so cool. That's crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna set up and we're gonna get started. so I couldn't use my ring light, but luckily I had an extra LED light that I just purchased, and I thought it wasn't gonna come in handy, and I was almost going to return it, but I'm glad that I didn't. Ah, it is midnight. Um, I'm still gonna do some B-roll. I might try to do some of the tricks that people ask me what my favorite tricks were, but we'll see, because I'm really tired. Finished filming pretty much, and now I'm just gonna pack everything up and go home. It's like 12.30, so I am ready to go home, shower, eat, and go to bed. That's it, empty studio. Oh shit, I have to take these out. Okay. I usually don't have this much stuff, but it's usually just my dance bag. Okay. Let's go home. Bye. Till next week. Wow, look at the moon. She's so pretty.
Oh my god, will it focus on the moon? Oh, maybe not. Who the fuck? What the fuck do they want? Oh, that's an Uber. That's weird. Alright, anyway. Okay, so I actually just went to um, a witchy shop with two of the women that I met last night that were my viewers. Oh. Hi, Mary and Lizette. It was really cool hanging out with you. Um, now you know how super awkward I am in person. I just made the bath magic video live for everybody to see. I'm gonna do a little bit of Patreon things and stuff for the witch's box, and then other than that, I'm probably just gonna try to take it easy today, put away my laundry, and I don't know, just chill. I have this Harvard course that I'm taking. Harvard offers a bunch of free courses, and it's pretty cool. So I think I might just do that and just chill for the rest of the day. Yeah, I don't know why, but I'm exhausted. Today I really didn't do much, I'm still in my pajamas. It's like 7 p.m. already and I pretty much have spent most of my day at my desk. But I took today off. I've just been catching up on all of my favorite YouTubers and continuing the course from the one that I was doing last night. Otherwise, I've just stretched, put away laundry, made myself food, and found myself right back here. Right now I'm watching this YouTuber, Rangu Gamer. Rangu Gamer? I hope that that's the way that he pronounces it. He is a Spanish-speaking gaming channel. I am still trying to learn Spanish, <laughs> so that's still a work in progress. No estoy lista para hacer un video completo en español para practicar, pero quiero una día. Una día? Es correcto? No sé. But, you know, we're trying. We're getting there. One day. Tomorrow, I have, um, I'm filming with one of my friends who's going to be helping me with the poll Q&A and she's going to be answering the questions that I cannot so I'm really excited about that and I also got two green lights from other from two other people that I am all asking the same questions um, to get kind of a variety of answers for you so I'm really excited to be able to set up those but that video might take longer to edit and to get up than I currently currently than I previously expected but that's okay because I have other videos that um, I'm working on and that I have planned so hopefully tomorrow I can get that productivity back up after my my rest day. that's it <laughs> It is Friday. I have a few appointments to set up. I have things to pick up, just some errands to run before I had to go to my friend's studio where I will be asking her the questions that I was unable to answer on the poll Q&A about stripping and sex work and things like that. So she's gonna be answering those questions. regenerarse sola. Sin embargo, cuando pasan... Ok, I got my, my 
camera gear and my lighting and I am off to the studio. You make money but you also have to take an account that it is an initial investment. And what I want to talk about is that yes it's good money when it is good money but when it's bad money it's bad money. You know there's definitely times where Oh my god. Why are you so cute? I didn't film anything yesterday. I just kind of forgot because I didn't really do anything that was film worthy. I don't think you want to keep seeing b-roll of me editing videos, so I just kept it out. I just didn't film anything. But today I'm going to Target. I'm going to grab um, another candle that I'm going to light every morning because this one is starting to dwindle and diminish. So I'm going to get that and I need some headphones. Do some Patreon stuff and some things from the witch's box and I think that's it for today. I might edit a little bit, but that's it. Oh, it's 70 degrees. It is so hot today. And I got a pretzel. Yes. I can take what I need to get by. Doesn't make it easy. The other piece of my heart was so somewhere in the great unknown. When I return from the afterglow, will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on. Put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. Well, that is uh, pretty much my week. I mean, most of it is editing and filming, but I didn't really show you all of that just because, like I said before, you probably don't want to see continuous b-roll of just me editing and filming and editing and filming. So <laughs> that's pretty much most of what I do other than reading for work. My days are always changing. It just depends on what I'm filming, what I'm doing, how much needs to go into a specific video depending on what it is. So it all really just depends, but that was my last week and I hope that it was entertaining for you. I hope that you enjoy these kinds of videos. I actually really enjoy making this kind of video and I even asked all of you on Instagram why or why not you enjoy watching vlogs from creators and a lot of you answered honestly of why you do and why you don't and I think it was really interesting to hear all of your answers. Personally, I really like having people's vlogs in the background, especially being if they film and edit in a really interesting or captivating manner. I think that that is when I really like their vlogs. But yeah, there are some people who vlog that I don't love the way that they vlog. So I don't know, maybe I might be one of those people for you. I have no idea. But regardless, I will probably continue to vlog things just because I personally like making vlogs for myself. It's kind of like a video journal. That's it. That's all I've got for you. Um, let me know if you have questions, comments, concerns. I don't know. Leave them down below. But otherwise, I hope that you have a really good week and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.